guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a starter makeup kit for around $100. I guesstimated all of the prices in my head, but throughout the video I'm going to have like the exact price listed on the screen. But, you know, I guesstimated them and it was around $100. I did include lashes in here, so lashes are going to bump up the price a little bit. But that's extra and optional because if you guys watch my videos, you guys know that I'm extra and optional. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome to my channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button because I upload all the time and um, you're not going to want to miss out. Also, if you guys are new here, I do a lot of makeup tutorials on YouTube. So if you guys, you know, take these suggestions for my starter makeup kit that I'm about to give you, um, you can recreate a ton of my looks using these colors colors using these products so yeah I think this is a really good starting kit I give you guys a full face here for as affordable as I can get to you guys but also for as good of products as I can give to you guys brushes are going to be in a separate video um, just because that would take up too much time and it's just an entire video in itself so yeah be sure to hit that subscribe button and also follow me on snapchat Twitter and Instagram if you guys are interested so the first thing would be foundation. Well, technically the first thing could be primer, but for primer, you just really need a moisturizer. You just want something that will, you know, have a barrier between your skin and your makeup. So there's that. But for foundation, my favorite foundation is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. If you guys are OG and have been around since like last year, then you know this was my like obsession. I use it every single day. It is a really great foundation. It's super full coverage. It's very long lasting. The only thing is it oxidizes, so go down a shade in it because it will get darker throughout the day. For concealer, you guys know I love my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. That's like one of my faves, but I think for a starting kit, this is a much better option. So this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. The reason I say this is a better option because the color range is phenomenal and I think this is like $2.99. So you can get your skin shade, you can get one shade lighter, and then you could also get a darker shade to contour with. And then you have like a little contour kit for under $10, which is insanely cheap and really awesome. And it's just a really great concealer. It's super full coverage. It doesn't get cakey on the skin. It's really lightweight. And the color range is really nice. They have a good variety of warms and neutrals and cools and when you're getting skin products especially from the drugstore that's super important powder is optional not everyone needs powder i do recommend to powder your eyelids and under your eyes if you're going to use concealer and stuff like that but my favorite is the rimmel stay matte as you guys can tell it's my favorite <laughs> rimmel stay matte transparent powder i've gone through like three of these i'm obsessed with these they are really really great they don't get blotchy, they don't get splotchy, they don't make your face lighter, they don't have flashback. It's just a really nice powder. For bronzer, again, if y'all watch my videos, you guys know that Benefit Hula is like my child. Like it's my ride or die. I'm wearing it today. I wear it every single day of my life. But this is the perfect drugstore dupe for Benefit Hula. And it's the NYC Sunny Bronzer. This is like another OG and a half product but it is just so good that like you need it in your life. Um, it's not gonna lie, it's a little chalky and this is a product that you do kind of have to work with a little bit. Once you get the color to deposit, it's a perfect dupe for Hoola and it's a really nice neutral shade. You can use it as a contour, you can use it to bronze, you can use it in your crease, you can use it wherever you want. Blush, there are a ton of options and blush is kind of personal. My faves are the NYX Baked Blush. And this is because baked blushes have a ton of dimension to them. So they make your face look not flat, they liven up your cheeks, they liven up your face, and you just look youthful and glowing and happy. Highlighters, this is like the world's child right now, highlighters. So, you guys probably know what I'm going to say, it's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. So this one is in the shade Crown of My Canopy, and if you guys can tell, they are just beautiful metallic highlighters. These are really nice because they are super metallic and, you know, blinding, which is like the look right now, but you can also completely, you know, dress this down and wear it as a natural highlight look. This could also be blush, it could also be, 
it's, you know, it's a little much for blush, but you could do it. It could also be eyeshadow. Um, so highlighter has a lot of options and it's just like a really big craze right now in makeup. So you could say on trend for only like a few dollars. I think there's like this common thought that you have to spend a lot of money on eyebrows in order for them to look good or be on fleek, you know, whatever. Not the case. I work with this one girl who talks about the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit, which is right here, which is what I'm going to recommend. It's the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. She loves it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. I went out, bought it today, used it on my brows. I love this. Like, it is so good and it's $3. Like, are you okay? Like, are you kidding me? It comes with a gel right here and then a powder right here. This one is in the shade light. Literally $3. You get a mirror, which is awesome. Oh my god, this stupid plug. Did I kill it? This is really great. I think it made my eyebrows look really good. They don't look cheap in my opinion, and they look like they're going to stay on like all day. $3. Like, it's amazing. For eyeshadows, I feel like if you guys watch my videos, I feel like I keep saying that. Like, if y'all watch my videos, eh. But seriously, if you do, then you know I'm kind of like obsessed with this right now. Eyeshadows, um, you can do a ton of things with if you get a good palette and you can use it for like a lot of your face. Morphe has great eyeshadows for an affordable price. Now when I started, it was like BH Cosmetics and Coastal Scents were like the thing to get. But I think now Morphe is like more on trend and stuff. And I really like them. So this is the Morphe 350. That does not mean you need to get the Morphe 350. I just got this because it's a lot of my color schemes and I like a lot of these colors. Um, these two rows can look a little scary, but if you just cover them up, you have a very neutral palette to work with here. This is a great palette also because it has a lot of mattes, it has metallics, and it has sheens, which is really great in a palette. You can get a ton of looks out of this and you can do a ton of things with this all over your face. So this is around like, I think it's $22.99 and that might sound like a lot, but if you like break it down, I think there's 35 eyeshadows in here. So that's like less than a dollar for every eyeshadow, which you're not going to find anywhere else. Trust me. Eyeliners, I included two because I don't know what y'all's preference is. Liquid, gel, and pencil are like the three most common in my opinion. So I only included a pencil because what pencil and gel do pretty much coincide and then liquid is on its own. So for liquid, I have the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner and this is in black. This is really great because it's black, it dries matte and it's really easy to use. When you're doing your wings, you literally just like flick it on. It's really awesome. And then for pencil, I like the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus in Black Onyx. And this is really great because it has a smudger on one side and it has a really black eyeliner on the other side. Sometimes getting eyeliners from the drugstore can kind of be like, uh, because they can either be gray, they can kind of be a navy blue sometimes. It's really hit or miss, but this one is super black and it stays on the waterline all day, you guys. Like, I'm not kidding when I say that. It stays on all day. Mascara is something so personal because, like, it's like putting syrup on your pancakes. You know, like you never want someone else to put syrup on your pancake because it's a very personal thing and like milk in your cereal, it's a very personal thing. Mascara is another very personal thing. So really whatever mascara works for you, like I know a ton of girls always start out with the Maybelline Great Lash, you know, the one pink tube with the green cap, it's so cute. Everyone starts off with that, but I hate that mascara. Like I can't stand it. But I know so many people that love it. You know, it's just a personal thing. It depends how you like your lashes, it depends how long you want them to look, how clumpy, like whatever. It's so personal. So I'm going to recommend one that I enjoy and that I know is a pretty big fan favorite overall. But if it doesn't work for you, get what works for you. Totally fine. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. This is like their carbon black formula. It's great. I like it because it lengthens and volumizes my lashes and it's nice and black, which I really enjoy a great dark black mascara because I normally put on false eyelashes so when my mascara is like a little not black you can tell. Now this is extra because I'm a little bit extra but I'm gonna include it anyway. Um, eyelashes, fake eyelashes are like if you want to be like extra and these are one of my top three faves. Oops, wait, there's hair on it. Top three faves are Ardell Wispies. I've tried a ton of lashes and these definitely take top tier of the cake. I really do enjoy these. Another big 
Brandon Lashes are Kiss Lashes. They are super affordable and you can also get those in the drugstore. Another great one, another great brand is House of Lashes. Those you have to order online, but they are at the same affordable drugstore price. So it just depends where you wanna get your lashes, but if you wanna to go to like a CVS or something and get your lashes like today, Ardell and Kiss have great ones. I really like these, I recommend these. These are the Ardell Wispies. Kiss also has Kiss number 11s, which everyone is raving about because Tana uses them. Um, but like everyone loves them too because they are long and wispy and kind of the same thing as these, just a little bit more like, mm, you know what I mean? But these are the ones that I'm wearing today. I love these. I have a video on how to apply them, so I'll have that link down below and also right now on the screen. So yeah. Last but not least, let's move on to lips. I was kind of debating even putting lips in this because... You know, everyone has lip stuff when they start collecting makeup. Like, I know when I started, I literally had like 500 lip glosses and lipsticks and nothing else. So, it's kind of a personal thing, again, but like everyone kind of has it. Anyway, liquid lips are the thing right now. And to be honest, a lot of drugstores, drugstore brands don't have the best liquid lips. The NYX lingerie line is really great. Color wise, um, they don't look the prettiest on your lips and they don't stay on the longest on your lips, but the color range is really gorgeous. This is satin ribbon. I use this in a ton of videos if you guys want to check it out. Um, I'll have a video linked up here where I have me wearing this lipstick. It's really, really great, really, really cute, and um, it's a nice lightweight formula, which I really look for in a liquid lip and I really enjoy. And then also for lips is lip gloss and NYX has some of the best lip glosses ever. So this is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss. I only brought this one out because I want to show you guys how like pigmented these are. This is in the shade African Queen. Mm. And they smell so good. Okay, wait, let me just show you guys. Oops, I was, like, am I even a YouTuber? Like that? is a good ass lip gloss you guys like holy shit that's good um there are a lot of brands like anastasia right now that have like very pigmented lip glosses and this is like a perfect dupe for it so i hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see how i apply my false eyelashes it is going to be right here and then if you guys want to see how i use the morphe palette i have that right up here. It's like a beginner look. You'll love it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!